You're listening to the Family of Tegeda podcast. Message from Leka. Zeta Grays. Friends of power and light. You have always had great friends in the higher realms. Indeed, your planet has thrived with visitors since the moment of your creation. Arriving in crafts as perceived sky gods, many walked among you as friends and teachers. In the higher realms of life, there are multitudes of races that are observed and visited by the Galactic Federation on your behalf. Some of the races visited Earth for millennia. One of these races that has been misunderstood are known to you as Zeta Greys. They call themselves, Obicular Sorex. Standing approximately four feet tall with grey skin and large black eyes, they carry the image of what many humans think of as an alien. Their star of origin is called Soren Sol, and its location is known to you as the Zeta Reticuli star system. The Zetas do not incarnate into other races. They live approximately 1,000 years and incarnate back into their own race. They live peacefully now without chaos or war. They do not live in oneness, but rather understand duality as Earth perceives in the present density. They understand right from wrong. For this reason, they have been reprimanded by the light forces for overstepping their boundaries. These beings are not innately evil and yet their behavior has shown to be inappropriate and unacceptable. Let us review their methods of exploration and being blocked from your location. For it is a fairly recent interruption in the flagrant activity that had advanced for too long. They have never killed humans but their curiosity of human life and the magnificent physiology of the body became a driving force in the early years of this waking dream that many are experiencing. Humans that have lived since the early part of this century, have seen crafts enter the skies in increasing numbers with clarity. In those days of many sightings beginning, the Zetas entered areas to explore and examine what was not their business of operation. Their technology is high and has increased for thousands of years. As the Zetas frequented the Earth in the early 1950s, there were meetings with Eisenhower's military. This permitted special operations to understand the great curiosity of these beings that seemed relentless. The technology of cloning was rampant and advancing with the Zetas. The dark forces of the Cabal seized the opportunity to gain knowledge from the Zetas in exchange for allowing them free access to travel to locations and glean information for themselves. Both sides of darkness became the same with intention and power. There were hundreds of abductions and many lived in fear as the Zetas were seen regularly. Many people would not reveal their experience for fear they would not be believed. Others told everyone that would listen and they became exploited as movies were made and books written that never told the true story. Zetas captured these innocent souls and conducted tests, took samples and gleaned information. The humans were always returned to their homes or locations of being captured. This had to end. As Zetas found children to be fascinating subjects, their cloaked crafts often hovered over areas of schools. Many children reported seeing these strange beings and drew pictures of the small gray beings with large black eyes. The Galactic Federation said, enough. The operations of the greys ceased to exist in the skies around the earth. When the light forces made it clear that there would be no more visits and no crafts would come near the earth, the Zetas cowered in fear. Although they never had the intention of destruction, their own knowledge and power was their downfall. They had never understood boundaries until the Galactic Federation stepped in. The awareness of the Galactic Federation was always present with visits and communication with Zetas but with the Earth becoming a focus of experiments, their intention became thwarted with rebellion and confusion. Now, beloved ones, the Zetas should never enter your awareness. For in truth, you will never observe another craft or a Zeta in your reality of perception. Their presence continued with diminished episodes until approximately 2010. Kabumer was one of the last souls to be visited on Earth in a face-to-face -face encounter. Having myself, Leica, 
and the kata present was intimidating to say the least for the mindless Zeta that entered the private space of our beloved one. The Zeta left quickly as we stepped forward in light. Zetas are not a threat to humanity. Think of them as passive-aggressive beings. In confusion with a bit of arrogance they entered the place of Elder Ikai's Kishapoli, and as you know well by now, this is the last word needed. We are with you in light. Fear nothing. Eniki Maiya. I love you so. Leka. <laughs>